There you have it, guys. Breaking news. Fabian Shaw has now officially signed a new two-year deal at Newcastle United this Friday morning. A good start to the bank holiday weekend. And I look half asleep, and that's because I've literally just gotten up with a cup of tea. Seen the news, and it's great news. It's great news. Um, it's something that I really hoped was going to go through. It's something that's taken a little bit longer than I thought it would have. And that was starting to create a little bit of doubt in my mind. Um, I was thinking possibly, are we only offering a, a one-year deal? Um, there's clubs over in the Bundesliga who we know are interested in them. Were they potentially offering a, a two- or a three-year deal? And that's why it's taken a little bit longer. But it's done. It's dusted. Fabian Shaw signs a new two-year deal. Um, and as I say, it's great news. For me, you know, since... Eddie Howe came in. I think Shaw's played, you know, the best football in a black and white top since he got here. Um, he's been fantastic alongside uh, Dan Byrne, and I was really hoping we were going to get the deal done, and, and we we'll have. And as I say, um, Newcastle Twitter posted about it this morning. It's on the Newcastle website if you want to go and read about it as well. Uh, Newcastle United are delighted to confirm that defender Fabian Shaw has signed a new two-year contract. The um, Switzerland international has been a key part of Eddie Howe's team this season, playing 90 minutes in 22 of Howe's first 24 league and cup matches. So it just shows you, you know, how much uh, Eddie Howe's valued him as a player since he's got here, playing 22 out of 24 games, the full 90 minutes, I should say. Um, the 30-year-old arrived on Tyneside from um, Deportivo, and played 98 appearances for the Magpies in all competitions, scoring nine goals. So he's not too far off that 100 appearance mark either. Uh, Joe Linton got his just at the weekend against Norwich. It looks like Shaw could be on for that very soon as well. Um, 69 international caps. And Shaw has said himself that I'm absolutely delighted. It's what I always wanted to stay here, play for this unbelievable club. Um... You know, I, I tell you what, obviously a lot of things have changed since the takeover. You know, if we hadn't have had the takeover, I definitely think Shaw would have been off to Germany, wouldn't he? Would he Would he really have been sticking around if if uh, Big Mike was here? I don't know. But anyway, uh, I'm absolutely delighted. It's what, it's what I've always wanted to stay here for an unbelievable club. Um, since my first day in Newcastle, I felt comfortable. It's like a second home. And now to stay here for more years, I am delighted. Eddie Howe said, um, I've been delighted with Fabian's form. He's the ultimate professional and um, hugely important player in our dressing room. I'm delighted he has committed himself to the club. He is very driven for future success and I'm pleased he will he will be part of our future. So, yeah, I, it's great news. Um, it goes back to... You know what Shelby said in his interview, uh, what St. Max said in his interview after the Norwich game, um, players are going to want to be part of what we've got going going forward. It's fantastic that we've got that Premier League safety this season, and now it's stepping into the unknown. What are we going to do this summer window, and what can we achieve next season? Um, after what a fantastic um, second half of the season we've had under Eddie Howe with a few new signings coming in. Um, what can we do in the summer? What can we do next? And it's it's a place where people want to be. It's Saint Max said it in his interview. It's a place where players will want to go. Um, and I think you know Shaw is not going to want to leave now. Like the project has just started, and if he's got a chance to sign a contract and be part of that, he's going to want to get involved. And we're going to see this a lot more with with current players. Even Shelby in his interview said. What was the tagline? I think the tagline was, I'm not thick. Because basically they were asking him, like, do you think you'll be part of the squad? And he basically said, yeah, I'm not thick. You know, I realise that the players are going to come in. He might not be first team all the time. But the point is, he still wants to be part of all of it. Um, but it's great news. Again, I think I think Shaw deserves it. I think um, a player who's, who's tried hard for a lot of years without much help from upstairs to now kind of be pushed into that place where... We are pushing for something. He wants to be part of it, and we want to take him with him. Um, we want to take him with us. So it's it's great news for him. Um, let me know your thoughts on it down below. Are you happy to see Shaw sign a new deal? Um, it opens up the question as well because, 
you know, I'd imagine Clark will go this this window. He's not in the squad anyway at the minute, is he? Uh, and then you're looking at Shaw, Byrne, Lascelles. You know, is there any plans still for a centre back this summer? I should imagine so. Um, and again, you know, as I say, Shaw thirty moving at the thirty-two with a two-year deal. He is really coming to the end of his football career. Um, I think we could potentially do with another centre-back in the summer as well. So let me know your thoughts on that down below. But overall, fantastic news. Hopefully he can continue the great form he's had this season. And again, you know, people talk about um, Joe Linton being someone who's had a, a serious turnaround in form since Eddie Howe came in. I think Shaw has really turned it around as well. Let's be honest, the whole team has improved by quite a lot. But I would put Shaw up there as one of the players who I felt like really had, had kind of fell off a little bit um he didn't look like he really wanted to be here <laughs> when he was out there on the pitch but in the last six months that's that's totally changed i'm really happy for him great to see him on board um, and the season tickets are up for renewal as well so i look forward to seeing him next season as well all right guys let me know your thoughts on the Shaw contract let me know your thoughts on the center back situation altogether i will be back later on today to do my pre-match chat ahead of the Liverpool game tomorrow and if you've enjoyed this video be sure to click here and check out my video from the other day Toon Tuesdays where I talk about all of the Newcastle news including some history being made this Sunday. Alright guys thanks for watching and I'll catch you later.